Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Philadelphia Phillies and the Detroit Tigers. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. So almost ready to get underway. Starting in this one, Eduardo Rodriguez. What do we have on him? Well, I'm interested to see how he utilizes his sinker to this lineup, Boo. You know, it's not necessarily his go-to primary pitch, but he does mix it in when he needs it. He's just got to make sure that it's not flat. Otherwise, it's going to get hit hard. So look for him to throw it up there when he needs a big double play, a ground ball, something like that to get out of an inning, change it up for a hitter. Also, get those hitters looking down so that it opens up the top of the strike zone, especially late in and at bat. Next offering is in for a strike. He must have been looking for something else because he gave up on that pitch a little early. It was right down Main Street. Probably not going to see a better pitch to hit in this at bat. That's in there. That's strike two. Hammer, base hit. Really nice job of two strike hitting in that at bat. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Here's Trey Turner. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Singy, how about this? From 2019 through 2022, Trey Turner had a higher slugging percentage than Carlos Correa, Corey Seager, Vladimir Guerrero Jr., and Ronald Acuna. That's in there. That is strike two. No ball, two strikes. In the air to left down the line. Badu settles under this one, hauls it in, and there's one away. Batting third, the first, the first base, base is number three, Bryce, Bryce Harper. Bryce Harper to the plate. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. That's off the mark. 1-0. and oh. Good purpose pitch right there. Trying to tease him, get him to raise his sights, pop something up, and make it an easy out. Harper checks his swing. Appeal down to third, and he held up. Two off. Rudder takes off. Next offering is fouled back. Here's Harper, the count two and one. Fought off foul. Battling here as he fouls it away. And a pitch. And a ground ball to first. Over to Baez. Throw pulls him off the bag and he's safe. That is it. The third base is Alec Bohm. And now it's Alec Bohm. Good eye right there. And it's fouled away. Harper off of first with two away. That's off the mark. Two balls and a strike. And 
And that one upstairs. Bryson Stott waiting for a turn at the plate. Now fly ball to right center. Meadows sizing this one up. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that'll do it. One left for Philadelphia. And now the Tigers get their first opportunity. No score. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back at Comerica Park. And today's starting pitcher, Ranger Suarez. Well, this is a guy that usually turns in a very good outing. People like playing behind him. Everyone seems to be loose, and the offense tends to get going. So, you know, you look at an opposing lineup. When they see him out there in the mound, they know that he's going to compete. They don't want to let him settle in. They want to try to knock him out, get into that bullpen before he gets real comfortable. Here's a speed threat. Parker Meadows. A wind in the pitch. And that's in the dirt. And the 1-0. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. One down. That is second. The second baseman. Spencer. Spencer Torkelson up now for the Tigers. The Tigers selected Spencer Torkelson number one overall in 2020 at Arizona State. And he rocketed through their farm system, made it to AAA in his first pro season, and then eventually made his big league debut the following year. Yeah, Torkelson became the fourth Arizona State baseball player to be drafted number one overall. Can you think of some of the other ones, Boog? This one in the air right field. And there's two down. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent pace. The designated hitter. Well, I know that Bob Horner was a 1-1, and I know Rick Monday was the first ever first overall pick. Yeah, we also add Floyd Bannister in 1976. You know, Arizona State's produced more number one overall picks than any other program in the country. Miguel Cabrera in the box with two gone, and takes a look at a called strike. The next pitch misses. Ball one. Next offering is in for a strike. Two strikes. And a ball <laughs> evens the count. The 2-2. Two -two. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and miss, and you walk off the field. Back here at the ballpark, this is Bryson Stott. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. The 1-0. Well, he gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because there are certain times a ball comes off the bat, automatically that team yeah. that hit it thinks that they've got a base hit or they may have extra bases, and he just takes it away. And a pitch. That's in there. Two balls, two strikes. And what makes him even quicker is the fact that he's so dialed in on the pitch as it's moving through the hitting zone. He can see how that hitter's lined up, what he's trying to do, and where that pitch is going to end up, which gives him that really quick first step. And that's why he makes so many great plays. On the ground to the left. And it goes just foul. And now the lefty just off the outside part of the plate. Really good take, especially with two strikes. 
And a foul ball. He stays alive. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. And here it comes. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. But when you see that many pitches in it at bat, your chances of succeeding go up. And right there, we see the result. And now it is JT Real Muto, known for his rocket arm behind the plate. Move over to first, try to keep him close. That's in there. Step off, throw to first, and he's back standing. Here's your one. It's a pitch out, nothing doing, and that's ball one. James Kingsley working the plate. Kingsley's pretty well respected around the league. Yeah, when you talk to players, I think consistently he is one of the guys you hear compliments about. Players appreciate the job he does back there. Yeah, and that's kind of all you can ask for, really, just a fair chance to go out. And have Here comes the pitch. Runner breaks for second. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Runner at first with no outs here. That one misses. Two balls, two strikes. These first two hitters really making it work out there. Already 14 pitches this inning. Now snap throw to first. Hey. And he's back safely. The next offering misses, and that's ball three. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. On the ground, a short could be two. Over to second for one. On to first, out, double play. Just got it there in time. Got what he was looking for on the mound right there, and his infielders took care of business. Pretty textbook execution between short and second to turn that into two outs. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. In there for strike one. That's a little bit low. Next offering is down low. Two and one. Here comes a pitch. And another ball. Brandon Marsh in the on deck circle. And the 3 1. Out towards right center field. Carpenter. Has this one sized up? And that ends the inning. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Bottom half of inning number two. And now the right fielder, Kerry Carpenter. pitch that one's in there and that is strike one good eye right there the pitch that one missed They say it went. And 
And it's filled up. On the ground. And it gets by him. Here's the third baseman, That's Matt right. Veerling. The third baseman. First offering misses badly for ball one. And a pitch. There's a strike. And that's a great take right there. Even though it's a strike, with the situation, runner on first base, you want to keep the ball off the ground. And you swing at that pitch, most likely you roll into a double play. Grounder might be two. On a second, they get one, and that's two. For me, that's one of the toughest double plays to turn on the infield. The first baseman has to get inside, create a throwing lane to hit that middle infielder to start the double play, and then from there, completing it back to first. Really good job all the way around. Andy Abanez up now for the Tigers. And the first pitch misses for ball one. There's a strike. No score here in the second. Next pitch is outside. And now two and two. Bounce to the left side. Gets it to first. And that is the inning. We'll move to the third with no score. Welcome back. New inning getting started. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Brandon Marsh. Marsh. Rodriguez back to work. Just missed. There's a strike. Well, we call that key holding. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Swing and a miss. Man, he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Gets a piece. And stays alive. He's mixing his pitches really well. Late on that fastball after seeing the changeup. See if he can elevate one. I think if he does, he'll get the swing and miss. Next one misses. Two and two. Got him swinging. Oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. Calls it in, and there's two away. So the batting order turns over and digging in for Philadelphia, Kyle Schwarber. He's one for one, let off the game with a single. Now remember, Kyle Schwarber grew up in Ohio, and so he got a chance to watch a lot of really good Cincinnati Reds teams. His favorite players growing up were Barry Larkin and Ken Griffey Jr. So two nope. balls and no strikes. Right side. Sends it to first. Third out. Phillies down in order. 
And we're still knotted at zero. As we go Leading to the out. last Four of the third. Five. And stepping no in one. is the speedy Akil Badu. And he deals. Swing and a ball popped up. Dunks one into left. Oh, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Pretty good changeup on the outside corner, but he did exactly what you're supposed to do with that pitch. See it deep and keep your hands inside it to drive it the other way. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. The batter now, Javier Baez. First offering misses the mark. Badu gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Next offering is in for a strike. And that's a little bit high. Check on the runner. Here comes the pitch. There goes the runner from first. There's the ball. Throw. Tag. Ow! A bullet from JT Real Muto. You know, when you've got cooler temperatures like this, sometimes it's a little harder to get some offense going because guys just don't want to feel the sting in their hands. They don't barrel it up. So being aggressive there, trying to get into scoring position by stealing a bag, I get it. Sometimes you just have to try to manufacture some runs, especially in temperatures like this. The pitch. And it's no, ball four. Four. He missed down low. Batting up. The run around at first with one gone. And up next for Detroit, Jake Rogers. Snap throw to first. Baez back in safely. Line drive. And it stays fair. Here comes Baez around third. Stop with a relay home. And first slide safe at the plate. And it's 1-0. Well, they strike first as he gets the job done to bring home the run. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy. Didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep. Took the barrel right to it. And then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Back to the top of the Detroit order. Parker Meadows up now for the Tigers. First time up was a pop out. And a foul ball. Runner at second here, one gone. Just off the inside corner. Yeah, the count one and two. It's a good take. The one, two. Fights it off, you'll see another. At the belt and fires. Good eye right there. Two balls, two strikes. That one ripped. Castellanos going back, back some more, pulls it in on the warning track. Runner tags it second. Oh, the throw is over his head. 
the second base. Spencer. Spencer Torkelson, the next to hit. Lied out his first time. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. Torkelson tries to hold up, appeal to first, and that's going to be ruled a swing. Rudder at third, two away. Strike two. And now one and two. One ball, two strikes. Kicks and fires. Struck him out swinging. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. It's now 1-0. Major League Baseball is on the show. Back here in Detroit, out of the fourth. Here's the shortstop at the play. Trey Turner. Chris, Trey Turner's turned into one of the best all-around players in the game. You think speed with Trey Turner, but a guy who impacts the game with his slug as well. In for a strike, and a count one and one. Yeah, he's a, kind of a thin, wiry guy, but packs some punch with the bat. But I got to say, the speed does jump out, and it's on both sides of the ball where he can change the game. That misses the zone, and the count's even at two. Next offering misses, and that's ball three. Now in this three-ball count, down in the ball game, you've got to be very selective. Take your walk if they'll give it to you. Three-two down. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. Here's Bryce Harper. Oh, for one, he hit into a fielder's choice his first time. That ball just misses, down. and that's ball one. And that's in for a strike. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. One and two here. Wouldn't chase that time. No, he's not afraid to fall into a two-strike count. Knows the strike zone very well, so much so that I think umpires will look at him and determine whether it's a ball or strike, if he swings or not. Steps on first for the out. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the now defense down. work behind him with the another ground easy. ball. Good execution. Alec, Alec oh. Bohm stands in for the Phillies. 0 for 1 with a fly out. In there, and it's 0-1. He's gotten into a really good rhythm, set down seven in a row. He just wants to get the baseball and deliver it as quickly as possible. Keep the momentum going. Next offering is in for a strike. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And that's the third out. Phillies go down quietly in the inning, and it remains 1-0. And welcome back. John Chabi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Miguel Cabrera. Cabrera. 
The wind of the pitch. That misses, and it's one to know. There's a strike. Pretty rare location right there, right down the middle. This guy paints the edges. I'm not sure if you're going to see that pitch again as a hitter. And now the lefty. That one the other way. Pulls it in for the out. The right fielder, number 30. Carey Carpenter. Carey Carpenter getting ready to hit. One for one with a single so far. First pitch doesn't find the zone. This one smoked out to left. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two away. The third baseman. Matt Veerling will hit next. And that's in for a strike. Oh and one. That one pushed foul. The O2. Center field. Rojas moving under it. He's got it. And that is that. Three up, three down for him there. On to the top of the fifth we go. It's the Tigers one and the Phillies nothing. All set for the start of the you inning. Now it's the second that. baseman. The second Bryson base. Stock. The pitch. They say it went. Oh, you know, this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. Nice. Pitch is in there. And a count is 0-2. Fouls that off to the left, and we'll do it again. And that one is inside ball one. Gets under it and pops it up. Veerling flying after this one. Reaching for it, makes the catch. JT Real Muto steps in. He's over one. Swing and a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. The right field, number eight, Nick Castellano. One gone runner at first. Yeah, the batter now, Nick Castellanos. And that's in there at the knees for a strike. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. That one is absolutely belted. And it's gone. The Rockets one to right, and they take the lead. It's 2-1. Well, that swing changes things. Yes, it does. They were in striking distance. They found a way to fight back big time. Well, he put a really nice swing on that one, and everything was on time, took a direct path to the ball, excellent extension, and just drove it out of here. Nothing better than when the ball jumps off your bat like that. Brandon Marsh steps to the plate. First offering, and it just misses. Still only one out here in the inning. 
Next offering is in for a strike. That's a slider for a strike. One ball, two strikes. One down, base is empty. In the air, left field. Badu makes the play, and there's two away. Now that the center fielder, Johan Johan Rojas, Rojas stands in for the Phillies. Chris, his skill set straight out of the mid '80s. Good contact, not much power. And he could run. He always uses the wheels to his advantage. His biggest challenge in this day and age is to not get caught up in trying to hit home runs because so many people are. Foul ball. I think baseball's starting to understand that those guys are valuable like they once were. They need him in this game today. Next offering is foul back. The 0-2. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. And the home team down a run. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back at Comerica Park. And yeah, the batter now, Andy Abanez. The first base. The pitch. So after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. The wind of the pitch. Fouls it back with two strikes. Gonna count one and two. That's a really good take. Swung on, belted. Way back there. Bangs off the wall. And the tying runs at second base with a double. Great effort out there as he tries to reach and haul this one in, but just can't extend far enough. I think it started with a bad read off the bat, which led to a bad jump, bad angle, and that cost him right there extra bases. Here's the left fielder, Akil Badu, and he's already singled in this game. And that's in there for strike one. Swings and pulls a foul to the right side. Bowen Chu now. Out towards left center. Rojas turns to the right on the move. Makes the grab on the run. And there's one down. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI yeah, yeah. opportunity, but competitor oh, like him, he is looking forward to making oh, yeah, up for yeah. it in his next at bat. Now it's Javier Baez. A walk and a run scored his first time. Base hit right field. Stop sign goes up at third. Runners at the corners with one out. Now just a nice job coming through in a pretty high leverage spot right there. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Tyne runs now just 90 feet away. Just got to be wary of that double play, though. That would strand him in any inning. Next to hit, Jake Rogers. That one's in there on one. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Yeah. 
Bounce back to the mound. Stop. Over to second. Got him. The double play cuts down the potential tying run. Well, the second baseman made that one look easy. Great feed to the shortstop. Shortstop completes the play. They get out of a jam, and they end the inning. Welcome back. Top six. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Kyle Schwarber. Schwarber. Rodriguez back to work. And there's a ball. Chris, one cool nugget on Kyle Schwarber. He has homered in every type of playoff series. A wild card game, a wild card series, a division series game, a league championship series game, and in a World Series. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Off to a good start with a leadoff nod. All over that one right there. At 110 miles per hour on the exit v -Law. That thing was screaming. And that's some serious bat speed to generate contact like that. And no doubt a higher launch angle sends that thing out of here easily. Trey Turner now. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Tells me he just lives for the big moment. It's sort of like the cycle of postseason homers. Did you say cycle? Now the 01. Way out front for strike okay, two. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. Schwarber gets his lead at first with nobody out. Swings and misses, struck him out. The pitchers have become so much better at commanding that high fastball. It used to be that a lot of guys didn't like to throw it because it threw off their release point and their mechanics, and they're aimed at keeping everything at the knees, get ground balls, but because hitters get a swing path, that can lift balls at the knees up in the air and over the fence. This pitch has come back into play, and they are doing some special things with it. Harper, up for the third time here, watches that one miss. Harper, in his 11th season, 30 years old now, and he's a former National League MVP. That one inside, two balls, no strikes. Action in the pen down there. Number 62, getting loose for A.J. Hinch. Diaz, getting loose as well. And the pitch. Just missed. A rare three ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. Pumps in a strike and now three and one the count. Line drive, base hit. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. And here comes the Tigers manager to the mound. Pitching change coming. Eduardo Rodriguez gives way, and he kept him in it even though he's in line for the loss right now. New arm when we come back. New pitcher for the Tigers, number 62. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Alec Bohm stands in for the Phillies. Here's the pitch. It's a double steal. Out in front and foul to the left side. Runners at first and second with one gone. Fouled off left side. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, Boog. Base hit into right center. Schwarber headed for the plate. He'll score, and it's 3-1. to one. 
Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a little bit, maybe spread out, but he got the job done right there. Two on, one out. And now Bryson stop. One for two. That one's in there. That's strike one. Now one and one. That misses the zone, and a count two and one. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Left-hand hitter waits. Pitch misses. Three balls and a strike. Get ready for some action here. Good RBI guy at the plate. Runners in scoring position, and a hitter's count. Three one, and they're all loaded up. Now the one out, base is loaded, and now here is JT Real Muto. I think ultimately oh, you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Base is loaded, one away. That's a strike, and a count is 0-2. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches, now in an 0-2 hole. He's going to have to battle, hope he gets a mistake. Next pitch misses, and the count is one and two. Off the outside edge, and now the count is two and two. Two-two down. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. He's already homered in this game. In there for strike one. Some guys are just more confident they can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. Next one off the plate inside. And the count even one and one. Two outs. Bases are full. Swing and a miss. One and two. This guy's sink has so much drop in it. It's almost like a split finger fastball. Instead of just weak contact and balls on the ground, he gets swings and misses. A laser to left base hit. One runs in, the second run scores, and they lead by four. Well, there you go, the RBI machine, another clutch run scoring at back. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. Now the left fielder, Brandon Marsh. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. First and second, two down. That's in there. No balls, two strikes. Cold night tonight, Boog, and that's a pretty firm fastball right there. I tell you what, memories of getting jammed, they are creeping into my mind right now.
Foul ball still a one and two count. Right hander kicks deals. And that's too high. Good location, good take. Sometimes you want the hitter to prove he can lay off that pitch. Next one just misses. Three and two down. Johan Rojas next to bat for Philadelphia. Stop at second. Castellanos at first. Two out of the inning. We'll see another payoff pitch. Righty to the plate. Lifted in the air right center field. Meadows makes the catch and that'll do it. Three runs, four hits, no errors, but two are left stranded. Top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Phillies five and the Tigers one. Back here at the ballpark at the, the play. Parker, Parker Meadows. The center the field. Field. Parker Meadows. The why to kick the pitch. That clips a corner. Well, these Tigers, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. They've hit seven line drives already, and even though some of them have been for outs, there's nothing wrong with delivering consistent hard contact. That's almost always going to lead to positive results. And he chases that one. One away, bottom of the sixth. Well, that event seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there, at least to foul something off, extend that at bat. And next to hit for Detroit, Spencer Torkelson. Pitch is in for a strike. It's 0-1. And right back to the mound. To first. And they get Torkelson for the out. The bat. The, bat. the designated hitter. Miguel. Go. Two outs, base is empty. And now up to hit, Miguel Cabrera. He's controlling things out there on the mound, not messing around at all. He's been in attack mode since the very start. First pitch, just misses. Cabrera, a career batting average over 300, and he was born in Venezuela. Next offering is in for a strike. Two down, nobody on. The other way. Loves it on the dive. Throw to first. On the money. Nice play. First, it looks like making the stop is the hardest part. But feeding to the pitcher on the move, I think even tougher. Great job of hitting that moving target. They're going to be fired up in the dugout. Miguel Diaz will take over here. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please. Now, for the Tigers, now it's going to be Johan Rojas. Miguel. Singy, you got to appreciate Miguel. a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. Pitch misses inside, inside. Ball one. And I would say that most great defensive outfielders, it's kind of natural. There is some work that you can do to it uh, to improve your game. Oh, but sorry, ultimately, you either have it or you don't. Righty delivers. Ripped into left center, base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. The batter, the designated hitter. Back to the top of the lineup. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. First pitch, and he just misses. There's one guy that I can think about, Boog. 
who started as a third baseman, Alex Gordon, and then became an elite perennial gold glover out in left field for the Kansas City Royals. But he's a guy, when you watch him play, you would imagine that that's all he ever played in his life was the outfield. Nobody out, runner at first. That clips the corner. Yeah, some guys just have instincts, right? I mean, that's the way it goes. We talk about Larry Walker, the Hall of Famer, and his instinct on the bases, despite the fact that he didn't play a, a ton of baseball as a kid. Kicks and deals. Yeah, now two balls and a strike. Remember Mark Kotze was a real good defensive outfielder. Good instincts, not great speed. Next offering clips the zone count even at two. Yeah, and I figured you would get Kotze into this because you had a free dinner at his house the other night. That is true. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Here's Turner now. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports too. Ball one low. Count one and zero. And a pitch. And that is in for a strike. And the count is one and one. Rojas over at first with one away. And a pop up right side, foul territory. Devon Yetz snags it for the second out. The first base is number three, right. Man at first. And now here is Harper. One for three. He's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slugging too. Here's the pitch. Run around the goal. That's it for a strike. Safe in second, and that was not close. Two outs is a great time to try to steal second, especially when you have a guy with some wheels on first. Defense probably knew it was coming, but figured we better focus on trying to get this hitter out. Left hand batter waits. You see the velocity 97 with that fastball. Pitch misses there, and yeah, that's ball two. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power, but then if this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable, and because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, he's a threat deep into the count as well. And yeah, the right hander deals. Off the mark there, three and two now. Man on second, two down. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Puts it in the air out towards left center. That drops in, plays it on a hop. The run comes in from second, and the lead is up to five. Well done, drives in the run. That ball right there landed in what they call the no man's land, meaning it's not really a spot on the field where you can expect anyone to get to it easily. I mean, it's a tough play going back for the shortstop, but also for the outfielders trying to come in. They got to go a long way as well. And now it's the cleanup spot for the Phillies. Alec Bohm. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And here it comes. Out of the outside corner. One ball, one strike. Pitch out, but no action. Good, 
Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way, and it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box. Got a pitch he liked, and he got it done. And here is Bryson Stock. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. Swing and a miss. Oh, and two down. That one down the line and foul ball. Just outside. It's a ball and two strikes. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Pulled the string on the changeup. One run in the inning, but they leave two. Seventh inning stretch time. It's the Philly six and the Tigers one. Back here in Detroit, set for the last half of the seventh. Now it's the right fielder, Kerry Carpenter. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. The wind and the pitch. And that one fouled off. Next pitch is inside. Now one and two. On the ground right side. Real Muto to first. One up, one down. The third baseman, number eight. Now the third baseman, Matt Veerling. First offering misses the mark. And downstairs. Two down. And now it's filled up. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Harper calls it in, two away. The batter, the first baseman, Andy. Two outs, bases empty. Stepping in, Andy Abanez. And the first pitch misses for ball one. That one missing inside. The wind to kick the 2 0. And that misses off the outside edge. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Runner at first with two away. Akil Badu now at the plate. That's in there. Strike one. And 
And a pitch. And ball one. Oh, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. That ball misses. Two. And that's ball two. And he deals. That misses the zone. And now three balls and a strike. Devonez off of first with two away. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. Well, he's starting to look a little gas to me, and we'll see if they go to the bullpen in this up spot or not. So digging in, Javier Baez. Oh, yeah. And that well, one missing low. Maybe losing command a little bit after the walk. Next pitch, not even close. The lefty, the 1 0. Can't find it here. That's six straight balls. That one misses. Three balls, no strikes. Stirring in the Phillies bullpen, Sir Anthony Dominguez. Up and loosening in the pen. Hoffman getting cranked up as well. In for a strike. Three and one. Swing and a pop up. Foul territory for the catcher. Baez gone on the play. And that will end the inning. Starting to run out of outs as they're unable to chip away. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Philly six and the Tigers one. And welcome back. We're at the top of the eighth. And up to the plate is JT Real Muto. And the right hander back to work. There's the strike. Ball one there. Here's a one one. That one lifted to left. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one away. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. On a line, base hit. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side, and the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. And now for the Phillies, Brandon Marsh. And fouled off. Deal one. Slap the other way. Foul. Oh, and two now. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. Got him out on the front foot. Couldn't keep the hands back long enough and played right into the hands of the pitcher. Ran at first. And now the center fielder, Johan Rojas. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. Nope. 
Foul ball. And now the count, one, one and two Good after play. the swing and the miss. Swing, and that's ripped towards right center. And makes the play, and that's out number three. Philly strand one. They lead it, though, 6-1. Chris Sir Anthony Dominguez has checked into the game. And you know, bullpen guys can struggle sometimes when they're called upon with big leads because it just doesn't have the same intensity as a tight game. So we'll see how sharp he is. Your mental toughness matters in situations like this as well. Jake Rogers up now for the Tigers. Rogers. And a pitch. And there's a ball. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Michael Lorenzen appears to be getting loose. The 1 0. And there's a strike. In this situation, you expect the batters to be a little more patient, possibly take until they get a strike. With that, you don't want to miss your opportunity to get ahead early in the count. He didn't right there. 1-1 one, one now. And a foul ball. The 1-2. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. One gone here. No, oh, that slider was way out of the zone. Now, and for me, it just comes down to not seeing the pitch out of the hand, not tracking it into the zone, and then also being a little bit anxious, not confident in your two-strike approach. And so when a guy's in that position, you get him to commit early, and a lot of times you get the swing and miss, as you did right there. Meadows stands in here, takes ball one low. Here comes a pitch. Hey. Oh, great stop. Throw to the pitcher, and it beats oh, him. What a play. Well, he makes a great decision to go ahead and dive to stop that ball. Nice little flip to the pitcher covering. Those are those PFPs, pitchers fielding plays. And next up for the Tigers, Spencer Torkelson. High fly ball near the pole. That one is foul. All over the first pitch fastball right there, but just a little bit out front. Got to let it travel just a bit more. Oh and two now. Good eye right there. Swing and a ball popped up. And they get Torkelson for the out. And that'll do it. Down in order go the Tigers. The lead remains five. If six one. New pitcher now, Jose Cisnero. Well, they need someone to stop the bleed and keep the score right where it is. Seems like a tough task today with the way this lineup is swinging it. Now it's the DH, Kyle Schwarber. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely, try to hit the ball out of the park, do what he loves to do. Cisnero, in his sixth season, 33 years old, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. There's a strike. Swing and a pop-up. Squeezes it, and there's one down. Boy, that was a hanging breaking ball right there. I think he tried to do a little bit too much. Sometimes those eyes can get really big. I think his swing broke down as well, and that's what caused him to pop it up. 
Trey Turner at the plate. Way inside, gets out of the way. The pitch. And that one just missed off the outside edge. Bullpen activity starting up now. Jason Foley getting loose for A.J. Hinch. In the air, out towards right center. Drops into the glove. And there's two away. The first base is number three. Here's Harper now. Harper. First pitch doesn't find the zone. There's a strike. Swing and a miss. And a count one and two. He got away with one there, but he knows he can't go into that spot very often against a guy like this. The next pitch misses. Now two and two. Two ball, two strikes. Got him looking. Down on strikes, and he knew it. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. They still lead it, though, 6-1. Welcome back. We head to the Miguel bottom of the ninth, and now the DH, Miguel Cabrera. Miguel Cabrera. And the pitch. There's a strike. Pitch misses. And one and one. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. Swings, and he pops it up near the pitcher's mound. Makes the grab one away. The right fielder, number 30, Kerry. Kerry Carpenter up now for the Tigers. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Everything came together for him. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came Veerling. from. And there was just no one there to knock it down. Here's the third baseman, Matt Veerling. And that's in there for strike one. At the belt and fires. That clips the corner. Carpenter, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Fights that one away and the count remains 0-2. Right-handed reliever. On the ground a second, might be two. There's one. The double play ends it right here. A little sigh of relief for the pitcher there, ending the ball game with a nice double play. You always love when you can get two for one, especially when it wraps up the ball game. Nice win for these guys today. 6-1 is your final here today. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long.